welcome on behalf of edureka great so let us start this topic long short term memory so before we start the session let's try to understand what is the agenda for today's webinar in today's webinar we will start by introducing to you a section of creating artificial intelligence that is known as nlp okay so first we will start by understanding what is nlp right that is natural language processing okay we will understand the basics of it where it is applied what are all the techniques uh, used in nlp so we shall understand ways to process data so basically okay basically what we are here to do is we are going to understand nlp okay so what is nlp natural language processing right what is natural language processing the language we are speaking right how can the machine the machine understand our language right so for that whatever techniques we have to use right that comes under natural language processing okay like for example we may be using alexa right we use google which auto completes our sentences right so all these things they are basically dealing with the natural language how do they process that natural language that is our focus in nlp okay so what are the mathematical ways by which the machine can understand the language we are speaking the grammar we are speaking that is what is known as natural language processing okay so today's session we are going to focus on that we'll start by understanding what is nlp what is the ways to process text data right so text data has lot of uh, you know lot of uh, grammar lot of uh, nouns lot of parts of speech etc how do the, how does the uh, machine understand that that we shall understand in ways to process text data post that we shall understand what is recurrent neural network this is one of the deep learning uh, uh, deep learning techniques which is basically used to create or process text data okay then we'll go and advance our learnings with long short term memory case we'll understand what are the use cases of lstm and what are the real time applications of lstm and at the end we'll end this session with a hands on session okay so this will be the agenda for today's webinar so what is natural language processing okay let us come to the topic of discussion today what is natural language processing let's try to understand that natural language processing is a subfield of linguistics computer science and artificial intelligence and concerned with the interaction between computers and human language in particular how to program computers to process and analyze large amounts of natural language data as i just explained in my illustration that how do you teach a machine this is your machine to understand what you are speaking or what you are feeling okay there are two layers of understanding here not only what context are you speaking in and what is what is your feeling right so in order to do that we need to create some mathematical models by which the machine can understand what you are speaking or what you are trying to communicate right most of us may have used some of the other chatbots etc you can understand that these chatbots try to understand what your problem is right so based on keywords they may try to answer you back so there are different models by which these chatbots operate uh, or how google uh, uh, you know auto completes your uh, text etc so this is what you will understand in natural language processing that how can you process how can the machine process what the human language is trying to uh, communicate now what are the ways to process the text data right so if you see here one is machine learning is the application of artificial intelligence for making computers learn from the give, data given to it and then make decisions on their own similar to humans so basically what is what are we trying to replicate we are trying to replicate this human brain you see this is the human brain and this human brain we will try to replicate using machine learning so that the machines can start taking the decision we are going to take okay so the all the logical decisions in the future right like uh you know what should you buy uh what is the next item you need to take or what is the forecast etc all those decisions will be starting to take place by machine right we don't need to worry about that that is what nlp using machine learning means okay so one is nlp using machine learning either you can uh, teach your machine using machine learning how to process 
natural language and the other way to understand nlp is deep learning okay so deep learning which is also sometimes called deep structured learning is a class of machine learning algorithms deep learning uses a multi layer approach to extract high level features from the data it is provided to it okay so one way to process your natural language is using machine learning and the other is using deep learning now deep learning is more sophisticated mathematical algorithms as you are seeing here and it can understand the high level features from the data you are trying to communicate okay so nlp can be processed two ways one is using machine learning and the other is using deep learning now one of the section of nlp using deep learning is recurrent neural network so let us try to understand what is recurrent neural network but before we understand this let us understand what is sequential learning okay sequential learning now what do you understand by sequential learning so basically sequential learning is suppose i tell you i am teaching you teaching you a course on on nlp right now the words i am speaking to you right suppose i just say teach suppose just i use the word teaching right will it make a lot of sense no right in order to preserve the context what we need to do is we need to give the data which is before it right so suppose if i am going to train a machine if i am going to train a machine right suppose this is the machine and i give this input okay and it gives me an output okay so this is a machine learning algorithm i am giving an input and it is giving an output right now in normal normal case studies without nlp this is how machines learn you give an input for that input it will give you an output right suppose you ask the machine that uh, based on this suppose based on a x ray report right you have to predict whether the person has pneumonia or not that based on the input that is the x ray report the machine has to predict whether the person has pneumonia or not so the machine is using a computer vision algorithm here okay so here suppose this is for patient 1 right now suppose another input comes from patient 2 right now does the output of patient 1 determine the output of patient 2 anyone suppose to we are giving to the same machine learning model two input one input is of a x ray of a uh, x ray of patient 1 and the other x ray is of a patient 2 right now patient 1 has pneumonia so suppose the output is that the person has pneumonia the machine is saying now will the result of patient 2 depend on patient 1 yes or no right the input and output are not dependent dependent on the previous state okay it is not dependent on the previous state what patient 1 was affected by will not affect what patient 2 is going to be affected with right patient 2 and patient 1 are independent right so one has pneumonia other may have cancer other may have something else right it doesn't depend on the information of patient 1 right but in case of nlp let's now try to understand nlp better okay in case of nlp suppose i am giving you an input right i give you an input that i okay i the output is the next word right the output is the next word you have to predict the machine has to predict the next word right so if i am writing i it should be able to predict m right i am putting i the next is m right the third word will be what i am teaching i am teaching right so the third word will be teaching right now my question to all of you is whether the machine should say teaching will it depend on this in this in output from the previous instance 
So when I'm putting I, the machine is saying M, right? Now again, I will have to feed this information into the machine, right? That you predicted M and now you will predict teaching, right? Now when it predicts teaching, it will again go into the input of the machine and then it will be uh, coming out U. The difference between these two models is in this model, you have sequential input. Okay. If I make it very simple for all of you, this is how the machine learning model will look like. Let me scroll down. This is how the machine learning mo model will look like. That, okay, you are inserting I. Okay. That information goes into the next tab. It predicts M. The next machine learning model will take the input of I and M and it will predict teaching. Okay. Now it will pass this information to the next machine learning model also and this will now predict teaching you right so this information we will have to keep on giving to the machine so that it can predict the next word so what i'm trying to say here is nlp works on sequential modeling this is exactly what is showing here you are giving an x naught that information is passed on to this next uh, network that network takes another input and the information from the previous state and it will give you the next input. A recurrent neural network is a type of artificial neural network commonly used in speech recognition and natural language processing. RNNs are designed to recognize a data's sequential characteristics and use patterns to predict the next likely scenario. Okay, so this is a big difference between the models which do computer vision and the models which do NLP, right? The NLP works on sequential modeling. This is exactly what is recurrent neural network showing that whatever information you are giving the input to your network, to your machine, that information cannot be finished here. You need to pass it out to the next instance, that to the next instance. Okay, so this is what is known as recurrent neural network. Now comes the role of long short term memory. Okay, let's try to understand this. Suppose we have this. This is a machine learning model. Okay, it's a neural network model. You pass I into it. And this I feature, it will try to predict M. Okay, it will try to predict M. And this I feature will also go as an input to the next model. And it will get M as an input. This input will come here. And it will try to predict teaching. It will try to predict teaching. Now, this will get IM, IM as the information, as the feature, and it will get the teaching information. Okay. And it will predict you. Okay. And so and so forth. Now, what is the issue with this? Can you understand what is the issue with this? The issue with this is what human beings also face the issue. Like we also face the same issue. The same issue will be here till the information comes to the last network. Okay. Till the information comes to the last network, the information which is coming from the previous state. Okay. What will happen? Like just like us, just like us, right? This, this uh, network will forget all the information about this. So what we call is as the gradient loss, okay, exploding gradient problem. What will happen is this information will not reach here. Like humans, we may forget, okay, what did you speak in the first sentence? Can you repeat again, right? This is exactly what will happen to the machine also. It will forget what it was saying in the initial state till it reaches the last state, okay? The remedy to this is what we have come up with long, short term memory okay so this is a new network long short term memory what it does is i'm sorry for the band handwriting what it does is it will ensure that this all the relevant information of i of m of teaching is passed on as a separate line to the last one so apart from having the memory having the information from here it will also have additional uh, uh, information coming parallel. Okay. So this is what, what we call long short term memory. Okay. 
so this will ensure that whatever information was there in the initial words will also reach to the last network or the last network will not have some memory loss here so this is why long short term memory came into existence so rnn also is known as memory loss issue or you can also say long term dependencies it loses the long term dependencies so as your network increases it will start losing the information which you had inserted in the initial network right so what does lstm do lstm will in will ensure that the memory of the initial state is also passed on to the final state okay mathematically it has a concept of something known as gates okay it has a concept of gates we need to understand those gates we need to understand the technicalities here and then you will understand that okay so here if you see in long short term memory you have different gates one is the forget gate then you have the input gate input modulation gate and at the end you have the output gate so basically what happens is you get the input in that input uh, you may add more input modulation gate and then we reinforce it and then we send that output to the next state okay so we in this course if you enroll we will have to understand or we will go into the depth of each of the gate okay right now right now for this short term or for uh, the one hour which we have this may be a little tough to cover but you all need to understand that in lstm unlike in rnn you may have different gates and that gates ensure that all the information from the previous states are captured in that network okay so this is the core concept behind uh, lstm now what are the use cases of lstm let us try to understand that apple has used it in siri so if you see siri was the company's adaptation of a standalone app that it had purchased along with the team that created it in 2010 so what did uh, apple do it uh, purchased a company startup uh, along with its team who were working on the application of siri that is a smart assistant right which can understand the natural language so that's a very good adaptation of lstm into the real world right also google has extensively used it in uh, when you auto complete data etc and all that stuff so google voice google auto completion translation a lot of lstm networks are used there okay so google also announced improvements to google voice transcription using long short, long short term memory recurrent neural network okay what are the real time applications of lstm ner this is a very good application so basically uh, suppose uh, you give a suppose i write to the lstm uh, input so you may have asked siri a lot of time or you may have asked alexa a lot of time what is the time or say what is the capital of india capital of india right so suppose you ask this question to one of those assistants siri google assistant or alexa anyone right how do they process it how do they understand what you are trying to ask right so it has to understand each word the parts of speech right what is what is is a verb the is an article capital is a noun of is a preposition india is a organization or a country name right so it has to understand that right so how does it understand we have taught we have taught an lstm network network to understand the names or entity in a sentence we have taught an lstm network to understand the names or entity in a sentence so here if you check it out uh, i am so this sentence this this technique of teaching a network to understand or recognize the names or entity in a sentence this topic is known as nia name entity recognition okay so this is exactly what this is saying nia name entity recognition here if you check 
we give a sentence to the model so it will understand that okay you are talking about luke rollins he is a person he or she is a person me is a organization milton keynes is a place somewhere and university of lincoln is a organization okay so this is a very good example or use of uh, lstm that is using it for ner that is named entity recognition okay it is used to locate and classify name entities mentioned in unstructured text into predefined categories such as person names organizations locations medical codes time expressions quantities monetary values and percentage okay so a lot of learning is here then we have something known as sentiment analysis right this is widely used in all the review page okay so if you go to imdb if you go to flipkart amazon all the e-commerce websites people write the reviews there right now who will analyze this review is it positive review or a negative review now one of the way to do is the star rating right the ratings which we give but how do we know the context of people are they happy with it what are the words they are associating with the brand etc right so a lot of mining of that text has to be done in order to understand what kind of words the people are using what are the sentiment of people writing those sentences is it positive is it negative what are the words which is making it positive negative etc so lstm is used a lot for that so a lot of organizing uh, work goes here in sentiment analysis okay that how do we analyze a review whether it is positive or negative suppose nowadays even when say narendra modi uh, when he is giving a speech right as soon as this, the speech gets over or before the speech is delivered that speech is given through a sentiment analysis uh, model okay so all the words in his speech are uh, checked whether it is giving a positive sentiment or whether it is negative sentiment how are the people going to react with say, these words etc okay so in election campaigning it started with obama obama used to use this a lot right whenever he used to give a speech all these analysis of his each and every word of his speech used to be going through a sentiment analysis so for this also we create a lstm network machine translation right this is a way a very strong application of uh, of nlp or lstm so if you check here let me just show you so if i go to this google translate right and if i just put a text how are you or let me say welcome on behalf of edureka right so if you see here if i if i want to change it to say hindi h h right so it has hindi also let me check here it is so hindi edureka ki aur se aapka swagat hai now it is so accurate translation of this sentence right it has clearly understood that edureka is a entity right behalf means ki aur se aapka swagat hai so even the grammar it has taken care of right so when it goes into a model you can imagine it that all the information that the network goes through each and every word is very important in order to get the translation correct right so for this also a lot of nlp is going behind it okay so nlp is being used at the back end of this translation um, uh, programs also now let's try to do some hands on session okay let's try to do a hands on session so i am going to do the hands on session using a google collab okay just again let me log into this perfect it's taking some time just give me a second please here it is yeah i am opening a new notebook so google collab as most of you may be knowing is a platform where we can do uh, we, we, where we can run machine learning models where, where we can you uh, where we can do uh, python coding also okay it gives us free gpu and tpu also okay so let us try to create 
let us try to create a model which can predict whether a given sentence is positive or negative okay a model which can predict right whether a given sentence is positive or negative okay so we are going to create a model for that perfect right so first thing we need to do is we need to import all the packages okay importing all the packages so the packages which we need to import are these ones so we are going to use matplotlib this is used for plotting graphs tensorflow is the model through which we will uh, package through which we will uh, we will execute the sequential model the rnn or the lskm we are going to create we are going to use tensorflow for that okay numpy is another package to do my mathematical calculations and skypy is to do some statistics okay so these packages are the basic packages which we need to import now the other thing which we need to use is the next thing which we require is the tensorflow packages which we will require in order to create the model okay in order to do the model we will require some tensorflow packages okay so we will now import those ones so these are the functions of tensorflow which we want sequential modeling that is either to create a rnn or a lstm model import sequential and then dense we will import optimizers like adam we will have to pre process the text like just how we have to pre process numerical data we have to pre process the text for that we will use tokenizers and then pad sequences okay so these all packages need to be imported we will import that now to just check whether everything has been imported well we will run a tf dot version it will give me what version of tensorflow i am using so i am using the 2.25 version okay similarly what is the version of keras that we are using so keras is used in order to implement tensorflow okay so we are going to use keras to implement tensorflow or create our models so that is also 2.5 okay now the text which we are going to process is the imdb data set so we have a imdb data set which contains the reviews of all the movies okay so we are going to import that package import that data so import uh, imdb it's saying that it is not available so let us do one thing let us install it right so so what we can do is we can write down pip install imd b p y okay so this is how we will in install the imdby okay so what it will do it will download the data for us okay so if you see now if you see this folder this imdb may have been downloaded there okay yeah now next is what we will process our data by making the training data set and the testing data set so those who know about machine learning they may understand that we have to split our data we have to split our data let me just show you that that may take some time i'm just showing you here so if you see here what we have done we have downloaded or imported our uh, imdb package it consists of 50000 reviews of imdb okay so 50000 reviews of imdb has been uh, downloaded when we write or we install imdb okay next we download and extract the files so this is a pack this is a, a function to download and extract the files which we have downloaded okay so this is the function to do that once we have downloaded the data and extracted it what we can do is we can create our training data set and we can create our testing data set okay so we have create created our training data set and testing data set so those who know about it about machine learning may understand for others i'll just give an introduction that imdb review okay each imdb review of that 50000 reviews okay have been labeled it is called supervised learning okay they have been labeled as either positive 
or negative okay so what we do we have a training data set and we have a testing data set now we will train our network with this training data set in which we have the label data whether this uh, given review is positive or negative while in testing we will check whether the model which has been trained is giving the correct results on the test or not okay so we'll run this now uh, we'll see that the training data set is 25000 and testing data set is 25000 so we have equally split it okay now once we have uh, used that what we are going to do we are going to pad padding the and truncating data what does this mean so these are series of steps which we need to take in nlp okay one by one we need to tokenize we need to pad all our reviews why so some of the reviews will be i like this movie suppose okay and some of the review will be i like this movie a lot suppose right now this this has how many characters this has one two three four six characters right and this has only four characters right so each of the review will be of different length so what we will do is we will set a maximum length of a re uh, review we will set a maximum length okay and what we will do either we will truncate that review if it is more than ma maximum length we will truncate it or we will pad it so suppose the maximum length is five for example what we will do here we will add a word zero which will make it five and here we will remove the word say lot okay so we will this is called padding this is called truncating okay so this is exactly the pre-processing we are going to do here we are going to pad our data and also truncate our data so at the end we'll get such kind of metrics okay then we will tokenize the words tokenize means di dividing the words into different sentences and then we will pass that into a sequential model so if you see i am creating a simple recurrent neural network the embedding size is 8 okay and we add gru that is the different recurrent units of it we add add three recurrent units then we have a dense layer and then we say what are the parameters to train this model we are going to use the atom for optimizer and then we are going to compile this okay so this model will be compiled post this and at the end this is the network we are creating using python okay i am speeding the things little here but i hope you are getting the context that we have basically coded and pre-process our imdb data and in the network which we have created there are three recurrent neural network initially we have a layer of embedding at the end we have a dense uh, dense layer if you see the output shape is one so out of the last layer the output will be either zero or one zero means negative review one means positive review so we will train the network here with x train and y train we will train the network here and then we will check its performance on the test data set so if you see here for the 25000 unknown data set which the model has not seen during training it is giving an accuracy of 0.87 is 674 so 86% of times it is accurately identifying whether a given review is uh, whether a given review is positive or negative okay so just in nutshell again i will explain you what we have done we have downloaded the imdb data set which is available online we have downloaded the IBD, imdb data set right it contains 50000 reviews of movies okay this we will pass and split it into train and test it has got split into train and test the training one so let me make the arrow here the training one we have pre-processed the data what do you mean by pre-processing the data i said tokenization right we have done uh, padding and truncating so there these are some pre-processing of data which we have done and then we have used this training model training data this is a supervised learning 
we pass it into a machine learning model or what we also call as a deep learning model okay what is this deep learning model made up of it is made up of three rnn networks three recurrent neural network the input goes in and the output which we get from here is either the movie is zero or one okay so first we have trained the model we have trained the model with the training data set so we have got the trained model here okay once we have got the trained model what do we do with it we pass the testing data set on that okay and check how the trained model has fat so the trained model will give the testing we give the input of testing data set and it will give you the output okay for the testing data set so let me write output for test now there are two things one is we know what is predicted from the model so let us call that predicted from the model and we know what was predicted or what was the actual review right we have this database in which we know what was the actual review so we will compare this to suppose the model said it was positive but the uh, actually it was a negative review right similarly the model says negative review the actual also was negative okay so this way we will compare the results and we will evaluate the something known as accuracy okay and this accuracy has come out to be 86.74 percent so this is how the whole network is so this if you see has been trained now so conclusion is that we have been able to train now how can we make it more smarter how can we make make it more efficient that is the task we have to learn okay that is what we will learn here how did it calculate the accuracy so and so forth we need to understand all those stuff i hope all of you enjoyed this session keep learning thank you so much have a good day